With the new year comes another chance to change a day into a cherished memory and turn a lifelong goal into a dream come true. The deep meaning of the moment is felt not only by the teams, but also by the school communities fortunate enough to be part of this experience. All of Wisconsin has bonded with the Badgers, who boast a Big Ten tough defense, and an offense that set all-time school records across the board. But here are the Horn Frogs. TCU is undefeated with the number one defense in the country. Tonight, they take a national stage they have long sought and undeniably deserve. This game is huge for our campus. This means everything to me. Woo! Go Frogs! The Rose Bowl is the oldest and most legendary. This is so rare. TCU rock. And this isn't just any, any bowl game. I mean, it's the Rose Bowl. We are amazing. The campus is jumping, crying, yelling, screaming. That's what we're about! Football is the game. But passion is in play, on the field, and in the heart of every fan who rings in the new year with the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl. Pride. pride. My pride. My pride. Passion. Passion. Tradition. 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 TCU tradition. On Wisconsin. Looking live at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. The struggle, the anticipation, the drama, and the dreams have all come down to the granddaddy of them all. It's the Rose Bowl game, presented by Vizio. It's all business for the Wisconsin Badgers, who have returned to Pasadena after 11 long years, determined to capture their fourth consecutive victory at the Rose Bowl. But they are taking on a dominating TCU Horn Frog team in their very first Pasadena appearance. Determined here to walk away unbeaten and cement their program's place among the nation's elite. Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to 2011 in the Rose Bowl with Kirk Herb Street, Aaron Andrews, I'm Brent Musburger. So nice you could join us today. And Herbie, the grander of this scene it is just one of the special occasions on the sporting calendar there's nothing better for me personally and i know how you feel as well about our trip every year to pasadena there's something about the history the tradition the pageantry the san gabriel mountains looking over the stadium uh... it's as good as it gets and Absolutely. this is uh... this will be a fun game today seem familiar the big twelve championship your fourth in five years favored to defeat an allegedly overmatched opponent once again if you know better than anyone the hard realities of letting an underdog sneak up and bite you in the heart when it counts, for you, tonight is all about redemption. Touchdown, UConn! And what about you, UConn? Sure, you earned a share of the Big East title, finished with five straight wins, and fought through a personal adversity few will ever know. It's time for you to prove the critics wrong and validate your right to even step onto this field. This is no fiesta of second chances, no bowl of mercy. This is your last game of the year. Your last chance for redemption, for validation, for pride. to ESPN's presentation of the 2011 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl from University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. The first meeting ever in football between the Connecticut Huskies and the Oklahoma Sooners. Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Sean McDonough along with Matt Millen. Delighted to have you with us and Happy New Year. We'll be joined by Heather Cox in just a moment. The Oklahoma Sooners appearing in their eighth BCS Bowl game in the last 13 years. And, Matt, understandably so, they are the big favorite tonight. In fact, in the 13-year history of the BCS, they're the biggest favorite in any BCS game ever, 16 and a half points. You can understand why they're loaded with talent on offense. 
at Sun Life Stadium, the 77th Discover Orange Bowl. First ever meeting of Stanford out of the Pac-10 and Virginia Tech from the ACC. The Stanford Cardinal, only loss to the national championship game participant, Oregon. Great season of history in the polls and on the scoreboard. Let's meet the men who have brought Stanford football back to national prominence. Welcome to the Bud Light BCS pregame show. I don't know what it is, but it's a religion in, the, in this area of the South. Football makes everything go. I mean, it's just a way of life for us. We won the Iron Bowl. We won the SEC Championship. We were undefeated. The winner is Cam Booty. I was so proud. I was wearing my jersey when he won. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, you hate to say that they're spoiled, but they may never see a season like this again. For a long time, they were kind of the laughing stock of the Pac-10. I mean, we've been waiting a long time for this. Hey, man, the Ducks going to the national championship, going natty. It's been uh, pretty crazy right it's here. It's one in a million. It's amazing. It's like the best year to be a freshman at the U of O. Such a rare chance, this trip to the desert. Oregon and Auburn, one versus two. Go but so far, it's been the year of Cam Newton, with only a national title, the missing piece. But it's what's behind both teams that drives it all. Pride. Pride is the reason you're wearing that awful hat. It's your license plate. Or those flags on your car. It's doing this without anyone feeling even the slightest bit strange about it. We duck out the car. If they could go to jail, they want to go to jail in the ducked out car. It's coming out at 8 in the morning just for the chance to talk about your team. So fast. Then, doing that chant that you all do. And not because we ask you to. But it's the feeling that all of this is helping and that the team needs us to. We got the Ducks win. It starts at birth and it never falters. It's pride, plain and simple. Hey, I'm high. 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 Hey,
Gabe Zimmerman and their families, and for Congress member Gabrielle Giffords and all those injured and affected. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in moments like these, we gather as Americans thankful for the countless men and women who defend our freedoms. Lift your hearts in thanks for our American homeland in this fiestable tradition as the Phoenix Chorale, led by Executive Director Mr. Joel Rincima, sings, God Bless America. inside this building as the kickoff approaches to Auburn and Oregon. Guys, in the final couple minutes we have before kickoff, let's talk about defending these opposing spread off. A tremendous scene here in Glendale, Arizona. Sit back and enjoy the championship game. You saw a brief shot of it, the living symbol of freedom, an American bald eagle named Challenger flying for both schools, setting the stage for tonight's BCS championship game.